Where do the dead belong in the world of the living? For this newest spawn, moments of peace never come. His memories are fragments of the life he once had. For a hellspawn, memories replay his soul's own personal hell. Hey, you're gonna have to speak up, Al. You wanna be heard? You're doing tough guy. <laughs> Let me guess. You're just now remembering who touched your sorry ass. <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> Time for you to learn something from all this fun. No one can be trusted. This world isn't about trust. It's about dominance and submission. It's about Power! It's never about trust. I mean, you couldn't trust your sweet little Wanda with... Good old Terry, right? You're alone now, Spawn. Ain't no one covering your back anymore. <laughs> I love it when you get rough. Go on, do it. Let yourself go, Spawn. You got the killing fever. <laughs> Winter has brought the hunter's moon with its cold white light. The hunter's moon is so bright that predators choose this night for the hunt. And tonight, in the alleys, Spawn can sense that he is the hunted one. The Hellspawn hides himself away with that instinct which predators have. Away from weariness, confusion, and torment. They choose solitude, hiding in the shadows. They are not your enemies. They're the only friends you have. Friends! They are my enemies! Hellspawn is returned to Earth soulless, his mind ravaged, his memory shattered. Out of darkness, a hellspawn is isolated, confused, tormented. He finds no solace in his own thoughts. They are distorted, twisted, grotesque. Whatever fragments of memories that remain are not his own. This time, the hellspawn kept the demons at bay but he knows they will always return to torment him, making him blind to the truth. In the city, a river of humanity rushes past, leaving behind in the alleys the refuse, those that become lost in the night, the sick and the broken. Spawn shares this alley with the lost souls who, like him, long to escape their wounded and tormented existence. Does 
does he feel anything at all? Or is his heart dark and empty, with no shred of humanity left? Is the Hellspawn even aware that his presence causes the destruction of those closest to him? Those he had hoped to protect? society, taking refuge amidst the garbage, like Spawn himself, these unclaimed souls know they will never be accepted by the world beyond these alleys. So they remain here, trying to hold on to their dignity and sanity, hoping for some savior, a protector, someone to redeem them. Has this hellspawn found some scrap of humanity within himself? Or is this the act of a predator whose territory has been invaded? Has his basic instinct to kill taken hold of him? He knows he is lost again. The real victor here is the one who sent him to harvest more souls. It is not just the lost and dispossessed that have gathered near the Hellspawn. There are those lone predators the human monsters, those who have heard the voice of Malbolgia whispering to them. Evil has seeped into their empty lives like a stained liquid. Aware of the presence of the Hellspawn, they come to the alleys to be near him. They are drawn to him. He is their savior, their link to the master. Hell has sent them to be Malbolge's hands, covered with blood. I found you. She was afraid of me. Who are you blaming? Her, yourself? You cannot have that life back. When Al Simmons died, all hopes of a future with Wanda died with him. You have been born into another existence, a chance to regain your humanity. It's there, and only there, where your choices lie. She's seen the creature I've become. That's all she knows. Her only memory of me. This is truly what hell is, old man. You have a chance to- A chance? What chance? I have nothing here anymore. No escape, not even death. You see? I can't even end it. Trade anything. Do my life over again in the world's worth shithole. Than to be here, now, like this. I know what you're going through. The pain that you're feeling. How could you possibly know, old man? Because I have endured it and survived. Do you think your fate is sealed? Are you going to accept the shroud that's been placed around you? I can't go on like this anymore. Hiding in the shadows, 
I'm sick of it. I have to let her know who I am. How can you tell her that when you don't even know yourself? You retreat here, hiding in the shadows of this alley, because you don't want to face the truth, the truth of your existence. You made the deal with Malbolgia. I came back for her, but she sees what a monster I am. I can't let that be the end of us. You will only bring her more pain. Let her go. I can't. I have to protect her from Jason Wynn. You have brought this evil into her life. The stink of hell brought back from your master. Master? Who do you think wrapped you in that shroud? It was Malbolgia. Are you going to send him the dark soul of Jason Wynn? Wynn had me murdered. He'll kill Wanda too if I don't stop him. Your life and Jason Wynn's life have always been entwined. Malbolgia has been guiding both of you. You are blood brothers. Who are you? How do you know these things? Because he was once my master, too. Listen to me, Hellspawn. I'm your only hope. Maybe you were sent by him to confuse me. I will protect my wife. How are you going to do that? By killing Jason Wynn? That's what your master wants. If you send his soul to hell, he'll come back as powerful as you are. I can show you how to break the curse, but you have to stop the savage killing. Wynn is going to die. And to hell with him.